And those are the starting lineups. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. We have David Aldridge on our sideline, and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. This is Kevin Harlan. Here are the five for the Raptors. We've got Nick Richards. Cowan Sexton is out there with Barrett. Then it's Barnes, and it's Williams at the four. And for the Wizards, they've got Jordan Poole. Daniel Gafford is out there with Gallinari. Then it's DeWan Wright, and it's Kuzma in at the three side. And coming down the back nine of the NBA season, Steve, the second half, what are the contending teams most focused on at this point of the year? It's about keeping their rhythm, adding a little bit more each day, maintaining health, you want to be ready to go once the playoffs arrive. That's the big thing, no rhythm. There at the pass to Richards. And the rejection by Kaffer. Shots good by Williams. Williams. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Now here's Wright. Pass to Gaffer. Kuzma outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. The smooth, no hesitation shot from Kuzma. Keeping him one step ahead of the defense. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Wright. Kuzma outside. And Barnes sends it back. Timing and anticipation. That's how Scotty pulled off that block. We play just over a minute here in the first. Right against Sexton. Down to five on the shot clock. And right kicks to Gallinari. No good on the triple. For the Washington Wizards, they won their last contest that game against the Kings. Here's Barrett. Gets it to go from eight feet. Moves like that will help Barrett become a more well-rounded threat. Nice ball control. And the pass to Gaffer. Shoots over Richards. Pass to Barnes. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Smart play by Scotty, calling for a pick to disrupt the defense a little bit. Greg, it seems like the Wizards have been trying to find their edge against tough teams. Yeah, and the first question is, which end does it happen on, offense or defense? Because you can win tough games by being great at either. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Sexton on the wing, guarded by Kuzma. Here's Barnes. It's rebounded by Poole. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Passes it to right. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Tries from 16. Poole, no good. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Here's Barrett. And Barrett slams it in. You can't Jesus. teach court awareness. Barnes understands when his guys are uncovered. So timeout Time called here. Four. The first Washington for Washington. Timeout. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result.
chance now to take a look at some numbers for Kyle Kuzma. Gafford finds Gallinari. Right outside. Out to Kuzma. Just five on the clock. Shoots from the line. And it's Toronto with the rebound. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Really a, a disappointing effort. That, that game could have and should have been closer than it was. You know, sometimes you don't play up to your full potential. The important thing to figure out is what went wrong. Now here's Wright, following the miss by Scotty Barnes. Sexton against Wright. Back to Poole, trying to get something going. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Richards got his fourth rebound in this one. Barrett with the ball. 26 points for him last game against Oklahoma City. Richards passes to Barrett. It's rebounded by Poole. Wizards trail by five. He feeds it to Wright. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Now Barrett. He's given them a healthy dose of offense each and every night with an average of 20 points a game. Deflects the pass. A drive by Poole. Count that one. Gallinari, very unselfish, draws a lot of defensive attention, which often leads to open teammates. Barnes looking around. Falls through. He's now made two of four. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. And right kicks to Gallinari. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Being aggressive and getting to the line, this is when Gallinari's most efficient. This is his first trip with the line tonight. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Here's Barrett. The open look here for Sexton. They grab their own miss. Richards comes up empty down low. That's the kind of deed you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And stolen by Sexton. Three on three. Barnes finds Barrett. Count the basket. Six points for R.J. Barrett. Scotty Barnes. And so Poole will bring it up for Washington. They trail by three. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And the difference in that one, the efficiency from range. They really focused on getting good looks. And if it wasn't there, each guy was willing to make the extra pass Trust in his teammates. Washington calls timeout. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing.
switch here. Bob Diaz jumped in. As we get a break in the action now, let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. Look at Toronto, winding things down this season. They're in that all-important ninth position within striking distance of a playoff spot. And checking out Washington, two spots down. And for the Raptors, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some hope. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship caliber team. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. Now, here's Kuzma. Really played well against Sacramento in his last outing. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the back. Door. Here's Barnes. It's a three-point game. Misses from short range. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Kuzma passes to Avia. Cool with it. Here it covering. against Barrett. It's deflected. And now, in transition, it's Barnes. Here we go. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. First Love seeing Scotty go inside with his length. He can be effective around that rim. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Raptors. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And they've also done a great job turning defense into offense tonight, creating turnovers and capitalizing on the other end. The future that Scotty Barnes has in this league is bright. A versatile swingman with an outstanding work ethic. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Kispert's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Williams comes in for Poole. And Jones subbed in for Wright. And he makes both free throws. Wizards trail by five. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Jones, no luck. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Here's Horton Tucker. Really struggled in the loss against Oklahoma City. Rejection by Gafford. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. The Raptors making a switch here. The away team. Shepard. Lock at six. Shepard the pass to Dick. Washington with the rebound. This time they faced off. It was right here at home where they couldn't get it done. And it's going to come down to effort tonight. Last time they met each other, they were demolished on the boards. And that rebounding difference led to a sizable loss. If you don't have that one guy who gets you 10-plus boards every night, you just have to send more guys to the glass. Raptors leading by five. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Taylor Horton Tucker doing a nice job of finding his teammates. They are loving it. Gafford inside. Here's Kispert. Cans it from downtown. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Here's Shepard. Pass to quickly. Over Jones. The shot's good from quickly. quickly. And the Raptors lead by six. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Jones, the pass to Kispert. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Kispert's got six points. Something Jones does well, making smart passes to wide open guys. And a guy who's easy to trust, Smitty, running this offense, Tyus Jones. He is completely unselfish, Kevin. He makes smart plays out there, knows when it's his time to score, and he's a second coach on the floor.
Raptor shooting at around 44% in the early goings here. Now the pass to Horton Tucker. Pass to Shepard. Washington with the rebound. But Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Wizards. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And it seems they've also put an emphasis the Wizards. on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. That free throw, good from Avdia. Toronto trailing. Hot loose. Quickly the pass to Shep. Will it go? And they pick up two. Now here's Jones. Still without a basket. Pass to Moscow. First quarter. 11 feet away. It's deflected. Horton Tucker with it. And here is Quickly. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Washington's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Pass to Kispert. Fires from 14. As he pulls it in. We've got 123 left to play in the first. Here's Shepard. Rebound by the Wizards. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Jones, no luck. Toronto shooting 43% since taking the floor today. The shot's good from Horton Tucker. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Jones, the pass to Kispert. 44 seconds left here in the first quarter. The shot's good. Javier's got his second basket of the night. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Out to the right wing. Let's it go from 14. Taylor that one goes Horton in. Tucker. Taylor Horton Tucker falling in love with the mid-range jumper. And it's Jones with the ball for the Wizards. Four-point game. The pass to Avdia. Quickly against Jones. And good that time. Avdia's got seven points in the game. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Now, Dick. It's over Avdia. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Raptors. They're up by two. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? I love their effort. Contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. Here's Barnes. His last outing, he had 18 points. In the backcourt, it's Jones and Poole. Avdia out there with Muscala, and it's Kuzma in at the three. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. Second first. Frank, you look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. 
<laughs> yeah, One shot. it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. That's good from Barnes. Wizards trail by five. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Now, Jordan Poole has more freedom to create than ever before. He said there's a small group of people who get that chance. You have to make the most of your opportunity and put yourself in a position to be successful. I never want any moment to be too big. Kevin, the ball is in his court now. Yeah, just the way he wants it. All right, T.A., thanks so much. And the Raptors with the ball after the basket by Washington. Smith dishes to Barnes. Uzma with the defensive effort. Washington's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Here's Avdia. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. personal foul. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. At the line for Washington. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Robert Williams is checked in for the Raptors. So he gets them both. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Here's Barrett. Floats it up for Williams. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Now, here's Poole. Kuzma outside. Right outside. Six on the shot clock. Over Smith. The rebound by Richards. Richards got six rebounds now in the game. Smith against Wright. Richards passes to Smith. Barnes outside. He can't get that one. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. You know, the reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooters. Pastor Barrett. Shoots over Poole. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Barrett's got eight points. Terrible shot selection, but you've got to appreciate his confidence. Now, here is Muscala. He's guarded closely. And right kicks to Kuzma. No good from outside. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. Alinari, he's checked in for the Wizards. And the Raptors also making a change. Sexton, he's checked in for Smith. Wizards trail by five. Kuzma finds Poole. Over Bennett. And that one hits back iron. The Raptors have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Passes to Richards. Tries again. Rebound by Muscala. Outside for Sexton. Buries the long-range jumper. Sexton. 
Sexton has got the lead up to eight now for Toronto. I love that Colin Sexton is confident in taking that shot. Beautiful. Right down low. Defended by Sexton. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Possession for the away team. And now let's turn to the 2K leaderboard for a look at the squads that have the most points in transition over the past 10 games. I mean, no doubt for me that they, they've hit their stride the last few weeks. I mean, they are punishing the defenses with that up-tempo style. Now, here's Sexton. Pass to Williams. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Fires it up. That misses off the backboard. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And this rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. And, Greg, it just seems like every night Kyle Kuzma is going to put up double digits. And he has the potential to be a double-double threat. He just needs to get more aggressive on the glass. Rondo shooting their fourth and fifth shot to the foul line in the game. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. The first free throw is good. Daniel Gafford's checked in from Escala. Barnes hits them both. It's right with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Trailing here by eight. Alinari outside. There's the basket pool. Right outside. It's Kuzma top the key. Over Barnes. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First person. Scotty down. Barnes picks one up. Second team Kyle down. Kuzma smart at knowing how to get that calls. Gotta Wizards. be careful guarding him. Oh. The Wizards have been on target from the free throw line. They're five of five in that department. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. Shooting two. Free throw good, Kuzma. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. He's off on the second. Kyle Kuzma is trying to be more of a team player. Whether he's coming off the bench or starting, he's starting to accept his role. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. R.J. Barrett at the line for one. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Wizards trail by 10. Up top right, defended by Sexton. The kick out to Poole. Pass to Gafford. Shot clock at six. Here's right. And another miss by Washington. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. 
Step back shot. That's good from Barnes on the assist by Sexton. And it's a 12-point Toronto lead. They are just killing them on the interior. Right, the pass to going up. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Offensive. That's his fourth possession. Foul. Foul. They were not even at halftime. That is going to limit his playing time and his aggressiveness for the rest of the game. And Washington making a change here. Kisberg's checked in. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Barrett wide open. He fires. Raptors with a fresh shot clock. Oh, and the jam by Williams. They're yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Alinari on the wing. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Barnes down low. He's got 13. That shot misses. Wizards trail by 14. Here's White. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Toronto's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Sexton dishes to Barnes. Richards passes to Barnes. Tries from 10. Second shot opportunity. Rebound by the Wizards. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Right with it. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. And his shot blocking helped as well. Those two blocks he had were big for them. The Wizards with another miss. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Kept alive. Here's Barnes. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Washington's gone three to six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Poole bounce pass. Gallinari against Williams. Gallinari outside. Williams with the block. Gallinari against Barnes. And Sexton has it in the corner. Barnes outside. Back to Sexton. A three ball. Out to Barrett. A second chance effort. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Ace Mitty in the playoffs, it's rare for an eighth or a seventh seed to make it out of the first round. But what about a five-game series for just those kinds of matches? You know, one against eight and two against seven. You know, it wouldn't be bad, Kevin. We had those type of series when I first came into the league, but I don't think they would change since we have the play-in tournament. I think rounds one, two, the conference finals, and the NBA finals will stay seven. comes in for Poole. And Tyus Jones subbed in for DeLon Wright. And Toronto will go for a different look here. Bassey's checked in. Dick comes in for Barnes. Horton Tucker's checked in for Barrett. And quickly in for Colin Sexton. Now here's Jones. Hasn't made one yet. And the way they have controlled the glass this game, really impressive. You know, you look at how they built this lead. It's been through extra possessions. 
Mm-hmm. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now here's Williams. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Gafford kicks to Jones. Nailed from three-point land. That's money in the bank. Jones looks to score from deep whenever he can. And here is quickly. This is it to Horton Tucker. And play stops. This one what looks to be an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screen. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Wizards making a switch here. Av Diaz checked in. Now here's Jones. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Here's Williams. Got it. Good job in the low post. Williams has got his first two points of the night. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? Here's Bassey. Covered by Gafford. Bassey, the pass to Horton Tucker. Quickly whip it. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Here's Kispert. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. To the paint, here's Horton Tucker. Lays it up off the glass. Horton Tucker's got six. Defense does all they can to stop Taylor Horton Tucker inside. He scores it anyway. Pass to Williams. The pass to Kispert. And again, Washington with the triple. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. Remaining in the second quarter. Two minutes. Pass to Bassey. Now, here's quickly. Shoots the three. Connects from three-point range. He's got seven. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Here's Jones. Two points. That one goes. Jones has got five points now this quarter. Defense doesn't hold back, but Jones finds a way to work through the contact. Passes it to quickly. Here's Shepard, defended by Jones. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Personal foul. We have the break in the action. Let's show you the teams that have been making their opponents work especially hard over the past 10 games. I mean, they've been impressive on the defensive end, and they may have caught a few teams on off nights, but you've got to give them credit. They've made scoring a chore when you look at their opponents. And he can't get the first one. Muscala, he's checked in for Washington. And he sinks the second. And it's Jones with the ball for Washington. A 12-point game. There's the dish to Abdiya. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists in the game. Quickly against Jones. And it's quickly missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Quickly against Jones. Pass to Kispert. The three. And the Wizards hit again from TV. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. We've got a nine-second image between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Shepard. 
Washington with the rebound. Williams looking around. The pass to Abdia. Now Jones. From deep three-point land. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And so it's Toronto. Bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're pounding the ball inside. And that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. He'll take a quick break. And then back to the action here. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Bernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. There was no stopping R.J. Barrett in the first half. He had 13 points and one rebound. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. They were getting after it on the glass. Like, wow, they're... They got a nice edge in that department, which has led to this league. They won the heart and hustle battle in that first half. Now we'll see if they can keep that going. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Wizards. They didn't shoot the ball very well. That's because they didn't have any flow on offense. I'd expect the coaching staff to make some adjustments in the locker room. They need to draw up some plays to get a good offensive win. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. It's been a clinic out there by Corey Kispert. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. So for Toronto right now, Williams is out there with Nick Richards. Then there's Sexton. Then it's Barrett, and it's Barnes, and at the three. Now, here's Sexton. They get a hand on it. Now, right. Inside, here's Poole. Basket counts. Poole's got his second bucket of the game to go. That's a pass Jones makes every time. As a teammate, if you get into space, he'll make the delivery. Sexton kicks to Williams. Pass to Barrett. Shot clock at five. From ten feet out. Count that is his seventh field goal. Nine tries. He's shooting 78%. And this is Barrett at his best. Looking for a shot. Being active on offense. Love it. Jones finds Poole. Gafford with the ball. Outside, Jones. Driving inside. Good D by Barnes. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. There's the lob to the hoop. No hole in the lead gets bigger yes, on a ridiculous Our offensive sequence. Down. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. It's Jones on the wing. Passes it to Gaffer. Right side Jones. Shoots over Richards. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Wizards and he gets the whistle. Two the free throws line. coming up. First Smart play by Sexton. He drew the foul and he knew he'd get to the line. Two. For Toronto, Shooting they have been the coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven Sexton. of their eight attempts. Taking two shots. Shooting two.
Free throw good, Sexton. A scoring guard, Colin Sexton's good for about 20 points per game. Huge for this offense. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Jones. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Wizards trail by 12. Kuzma with it. Running now by Sexton. Kuzma passes to right. To the inside. Here's Colinari. On target from 13 feet. That's good defense. You try to close the airspace on Gallinari, but he still shoots it with great confidence. Pass to Barnes. A stupendous finish in travel. Barnes has got 17. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And there's the pass to Poole. He kicks to Gallinari. Right, looking around. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Wright's got his third basket of the night. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Wentz. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort, and he brings the energy. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Pass to Gafford. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Clearly a foul. First team foul. This is his first free throw of At the game. The line for two, Daniel Gasser. And that one falls for Gafford. And Toronto making a change here. Smith has checked in. Gafford cans them both. Toronto leading by 10. Barrett kicks to Smith. Back to Barrett. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Assist from Barrett's got four points this quarter. Taking what the defense offers up, Smith with good vision there finds the open man. Up job Gafford. Defended by Richard. Offensive rebound. And Gafford throws it down. Gafford. Just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Now, here is Smith. This is scoreless down. thus far. Jordan Poole. Now a chance to examine the rebounding numbers over the past months down. for Denny Avdia. In the last few months, the rebounding has been sort of taken a bit of a dive for him. And a lot of factors could be the cause, but it's a trend that Coach would probably like to see him reverse. And the first one drops. Few guards in this league shoot under 70% from the line. Smith's well below that mark for his career. And so he hits both. And it's right with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Down by 12. Kuzma outside. Passes to going up. Nice ball movement by Washington. Here's Gafford. Hits the jumper. Gafford's got six. 
The Raptors have gone as spotless. Six of six from the field since taking the court here in the second half. Pass to Richards. And here's Smith to the middle. And it's blocked. Kuzma, right side. Gafford trying to break free. And Kuzma slams it in. This is what you like to see. Kuzma not selling for something along the perimeter. In fact, just the opposite. Here's Smith. Rebound by the Wizards. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now here's Wright. He's got six and stolen by Barnes. Fast break Toronto. Pushing it up. And Barrett slams it in. And, and you see the edge Barrett plays with attacking the rim with bad intentions. Time, Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it. The other allowing itself to be bullied. Scala is checked in for Daniel Gafford. Okay, and it's Avdia in for Gallinari. And Toronto also what? making a switch. Cassie's checked in. Now, here's Poole. Right now, checking his stats. He's averaging over 23 points a game. Back to Mescala. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. The pass to Smith. Over right. Smith, no luck. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. That. Moved his feet, Sorry. timed it perfectly. That's First how you get stops. Down. Love it. Second nice team work down. to get it inside and At draw the contact. For Washington. And what do you guys think Jordan so far about Poole. the offensive approach for the Raptors? They are dominating the paint in this one. Consistent work inside throughout the game. And we also got to talk about the damage they've done inside. The opposition having a hard time keeping that ball out of the paint. Kispert's checked in for the Wizards. Kenrich Williams comes in for right, and then for Toronto. Dick comes in for Nick Richards, and quickly in for Sexton. All free throws, good from Poole. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Smith, the pass to Dick. with the rebound. Wizards trail by six. That shot is off. Coming up empty for the second time this game. Four for six. Here's quickly. Passes it to Bassi. Out to Barrett. Smith outside. Looking for quickly. He gets it there. No good. Shot missing. Williams with the defensive effort. Again, Smith. Top of the key, Kispert. Four on the clock. 
pulls up on the wing, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Kispert's got 16 points. Smith scanning the floor. Good work there as it goes. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. Here's Poole. Six points for him. Now, here's Kispert. The kick out to Poole. Fires for three. As he pulls it in. As he's got six rebounds in the game. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Williams dishes to Abdiya. Pass to Poole. Washington needs to get a shot off here. Through the contact from long down. range, and he almost Our got the hoop down. to fall. Instead, First he'll shoot three down. at the line. Third yeah, you, you hate down. to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. The, the Wizards have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. That free throw missing. Jones checked in for Jordan Poole. Horton Tucker's checked in for the Raptors. And he can't hit the second. And he misses all three. Raptors leading by six. Here's Dick. Good. Nice job down low. And it's not easy to get Dick out of rhythm. Even with contact, he is that steady of a shooter. Jones against Quickly. Stolen by Quickly. Now Barrett pushing it up and no one back to stop him. Count it. Hard and it's a 10-point Raptor lead. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And you know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel Quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly. <laughs> no pun intended. A volume three-point shooter and has a deadly little floater in the lane. Shot clock at three. But shot from 20 feet away. Williams can't get it to go. Raptor shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Down low. Dick. Rebounded by the Wizards. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. And there's the whistle. That goes on Denny Avdia. That is his first foul of the game. Wizards making a switch here. Golinari's checked in. On the court. Dick passes to Bassey. Dick with it. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. 158 left in the third quarter of the game. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First person. And you look at Grady Dick's physical gifts, and you see it's all there. Size, length, careful training, and hard work could make him into something special. Shoot two. 
Free throw drops for Dick. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Wizards trail by 12. Jones with it. Five points in the game. Alinari down low. To stop the drought. Oh, that's blocked. Now, Horton Tucker. Here's Bassey. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Raptors lead by 14. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Now here's Jones. Just five to shoot. Steps back and fires. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Bassey's got nine rebounds now tonight. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Pass to Horton Tucker. Lays it up, and in spite of the excellent defense at that, Horton Tucker's got eight points. I like the way Taylor Horton Tucker kept his composure. The defense was all over him. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Charles Bassey, second personal foul, fourth team foul. This is his second trip line, to the line the in this one. Danilo Gallinari, two shots. And he makes the first. Williams is checked in for the Raptors. That one falls, so he hits both of them. It, it, it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Here's Horton Tucker. Eight points for him. There's 21 seconds left to play in the third. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Williams with the steal. With two seconds left. Off the mark. And so is Toronto with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels. And it's gotten them up big. And we'll be right back after this. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Wizards trail by 14. We've got Tyus Jones. Avdia out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then there's Daniel Gafford. And it's right in at the two-guard spot. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. Jones finds Gafford. Over Sexton. And it's Toronto with the rebound. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. From 13. Second chance shot. Williams shot is off. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. And finished off by Avdia. 
Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Here's Horton Tucker. Guarded by Wright. Here's Williams. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Jones. As he pulls it in. Toronto leading by 14. Pass to Barnes. Now Horton Tucker. Over right. The second effort. And Williams with the nice Robert bucket Williams. inside. Williams has got four this quarter. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Wright finds Gafford. Kuzma outside. Shot from 12. Moves back up. Gafford misses. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now here's Barnes. Horton Tucker in the corner. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Barnes has got assist number five here tonight. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Here's Wright. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. It's on Robert Williams. First wow, team wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be line, much debate there. For two, DeLon Wright. First free throw is good. Pools checked in for Washington. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Toronto. Smith comes in for Horton Tucker. And so Wright nails both of them. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Smith finds Williams. Back to Smith. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Raptors lead by 18. Robert, And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. The Raptors have gone 4 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Smith outside. Sexton against Wright. Tries from the block. Rebounded by the Wizards. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. And here's Smith after Avdia made the last three-pointer. Outside for Sexton. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Basketball. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. The three from Poole. Toronto grabs the miss. Williams has got 11 rebounds in the game. Sexton on the wing. Guarded by Wright. And the rejection by Kaffer. And he's able to get it back. Here's Richards. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. 
He lobs up the alley -oop pass, and it's out of bounds. They see it was last touch by Williams. You you love Williams. the pressure he's putting Our on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. R.J. Barrett's checked in for the Raptors. Now here's Kuzma. Got a piece of it. And here's Barrett. Here's Barnes. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Hey, Steve, when we look at Scotty Barnes, what excites you about his play? I think for me, Kevin, it's just him improving. He can pretty much do everything well already. He's still got so much time to keep growing. The first one falls. Barnes hits them both. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. Abdiya, the pass to Kuzma. Kicks it to Abdiya. Williams with the block. Barnes against Kuzma. That's another rebound. He holds in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. Sexton. Good, and it's Williams Sexton. who picks up the assist. When you've got handles like that, why not show them off? Love it, Colin Sexton. On pass from right. Avdia, the pass to Gaffer. Now, here's Avdia. Defended by Richard. And it's blocked. Kuzma against Barnes. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Second person. A much different player here in the second half. He's taking advantage of what the defense allows. Alinari, he's checked in for Avdia. One shot. The free throw off from Barnes. Wizards trail by 19. Kuzma passes to Gafford. Right outside. Back to Gafford. Shoots over Richards. Toronto grabs the miss. Barnes has got his sixth rebound on the night. To the inside. And it's Williams finishing it off. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends. And you're seeing the results. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. It's incredible. And I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to his game than threes and dunks. And so Poole will bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Halt the run. A three-pointer is right on target. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Barnes up top. Guarded by Kuzma. We have a step back. Washington with the rebound. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. And Gafford throws it down. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Here's Barnes after the basket by Washington. And again, Toronto no up. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the 1-3, and that was in the first half. Kuzma passes to Golinari. 
Here's the pass to Poole. Not three off the mark. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. And Barrett gets it to go. Making plays in traffic. This is where Barrett's most effective. Right outside. Back to Kuzma. Four on the shot clock. Gafford inside. Arms on him. Away to the back. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Wizards, Daniel Gafford. First one falls for him. Manuel quickly. He's checked in for Colin Sexton. Gafford can them both. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Barrett against Poole. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Yeah, but in the first half, he was just purely flawless as a ball secure. But that certainly hasn't been the case here in the second half. Wizards trail by 16. Right, the pass to Poole. to right pass to Kuzma over Barnes the shot's good from Kuzma Kuzma's got four points this quarter a great challenge there defensively but Kyle's mindset wins out on the offensive end Barnes down low guarded by Kuzma Barnes can't get it to go Gallinari against Williams. Here's Poole. Nice D from Barrett. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Now, here's Quickly. Barnes kicks to Barrett. Good, and it's Barnes oh, picking up Barrett. the assist. Three point field. Barnes goal. has got assist number seven for him tonight. Wizards trail by 17. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. He's the family. Your Wizards. You can see.
moment to present the New Balance player of the game, R.J. Barrett. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. He's been their boss tonight, the player who's guided them to the win, and it's a win they needed coming off a loss in their last one. And the Wizards with possession, trailing by 17. Wright finds Poole. Kuzma outside. And there's the whistle. Illegal, Illegal screen. screen. Uh, beyond possession the lead, you, you can see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Now, here's quickly. Here's Barrett. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Assist from Williams has got three assists in the game. Wizards trail by 19. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. Right outside. Passes to Kuzma. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. We had a tough break for him there. But they'd have a tough time coming back from this deficit no matter who's on the floor. Kenridge Williams. He's checked in for Washington. Now, here's Barrett. It's rebounded by Poole. Poole's got rebound number five here tonight. Dishes it to right. There's 126 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Williams. Williams. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And hey guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Raptors. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions, and the nice night it ended up being for R.J. Barrett. Hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight. He was aggressive, he was efficient, and the defense had no answer. Now, here's Barrett. Pass to Quickly. It's good. And they just blocked quickly. out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Barrett against Wright. Barrett with the ball. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. The this crowd the was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.